Hi, I'm John, and welcome to EnglishHouse.tv. No se pierdan la clase de hoy. Let's watch some TV. Okay. Oh, excellent. The match. Good. Come on. Come this on! Is, this is war. Come on! Oh man, not again! Sorry? This is bored. This is bored? Yeah. Oh, I think you mean this is boring, Maria. You talking about that? Yeah. That is boring. Okay. I think you are bored. A little bit. Are you? I'll change the channel. Oh no, please! Oh, this no. is very interesting. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, I'm not interested. Why? Not at all. This, this is annoying. This is really annoying. In fact, it's irritating. I, I can't stand this program. No lo soporto. Honestly, Maria, I mean, you and I never agree. Nunca nos ponemos de acuerdo, eh? No. Oh, so bad. But... We have to explain now the difference between what Maria said at the beginning and what I said. Why did I correct Maria? ¿Por qué corregió yo a Maria? Okay, important. La he corregido en ed o ing, okay? So, let's explain the difference between the adjectives ending in ed or the adjectives ending in ing. Okay, Maria? Okay. So, the adjectives ending in ed, los acabados en ed, Expresan estado de ánimo, ¿ok? Entonces siempre es un estado de ánimo de una persona, ¿ok? No es lo mismo estar bored que boring, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Si yo te digo, are you bored o boring, ¿tú qué dirías? I am boring. No, you are not boring, Maria, you are bored, porque estás aburrida. Ah, uh, ok. ¿Entiendes? Yeah. So you'd say, Maria is bored porque es su estado de ánimo, ¿ok? Ok. Sin embargo, si tú dijeras, I am boring, ¿qué dirías? Soy aburrida. Y no lo es. <laughs> Maria is not boring, okay? Good, she is bored. She doesn't like football. I love football, okay? Okay. She finds football boring, okay? Okay. So when she watches football, she gets bored. Mm -hmm. Te aburres, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, good. Yo, sin embargo, digo, sus programas a mí me parecen horribles, okay? So I say, your programs for me are boring, okay? Mm -hmm. Annoying. Y cuando los veo... Okay, I get irritated, okay? Okay. Good. And I get annoyed, okay? ¿Lo entiendes? Yeah. All right, good. So, for example, if I want to explain the difference now between ED and ING, vamos a hacer unos cuantos ejemplos para ver si, si te quedan claros, okay? okay? Now, Maria, are you confused or confusing? I am confused. Exactly, porque está confundida. Si no, sería, tú serías confusa. <laughs> you no lo eres, no? No. Okay, good. Exactly, good. Maria. Now, are you disappointed or disappointing? I am disappointed. Está decepcionada. Okay, good. All right, good. Now, are you amazed or amazing? I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, good. Entonces, ahí el amazed sería el estado de ánimo, ¿no? Sorprendida o asombrada, ¿no? Y el amazing es asombrosa <laughs> o increíble. Okay, so she is incredible, amazing. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. So that's the difference between los adjetivos acabados en ed, okay, y los acabados en ing. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try and uh, see if the people in the street understand the difference. A ver si la gente de la calle entiende la diferencia entre ed e ing. Hi, I'm Hannah for EnglishHouse.tv and today we're looking at adjectives that end with ing and ed. Are you ready? Finish the sentence for me. I find <laughs> confusing. I find city maps confusing. I agree, especially if the city is very big. Right? Okay. And what did you find confusing? I find computers confusing. I don't like technology. <laughs> what do you find annoying? I find traffic annoying. Relaxing. What do you find relaxing? I find reading relaxing. And what are you excited about? I'm very excited about learning Spanish. And how is it going so far? So far pretty well, I think. <laughs> very good. Excellent. What do you find embarrassing? I find falling in public embarrassing. <laughs> I think that's a good one. What are you interested in? 
I'm really interested in writing. Oh, good. So would you like to be a writer one day? Yeah, I hope to be a journalist. Oh, sounds good. Hey, journalist! <laughs> <laughs> This is good practice for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> And you're very scared of spiders, right? Yes, yes, I'm very scared of spiders. And what are you scared of? <laughs> I'm also very scared of spiders. Okay, I made new friends and we're all tired and I think we deserve an ice cream. You guys want ice cream? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Okay, Maria. So, adjetivos ed o adjetivos ing. Ed son estado de ánimo. Ing son característica o descripción general. Okay, oh, good. Okay. All right, so if I say something is confused, ¿qué digo? Que algo es confuso. No. <laughs> you are confused. Entonces, ¿tú dices? Que estoy confundida. Exactly, porque es tu estado de ánimo. Acuérdate de eso. De Ede, acuerdo. estado de ánimo. ¿Cómo estás? Yo estoy confuso. Ok, good. Pero si digo yo, yo soy confuso, ¿qué dirías? I'm confusing. Exactly. Te describe a ti como persona. Ok. okay. Tus características. Ok. Do you understand me? Yeah. Ok. If I say to you, for example, are you relaxed or relaxing? ¿Tú dirías? I am relaxed. Exactly. Está relajada. Y entonces describes estado de ánimo. Si dijeras I am relaxing, is this class relaxing? Mm, no. <laughs> no. It's stressful. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. So you understand the difference now, do yeah. you? Good. I hope you understand the difference too, okay? So keep watching EnglishHouse.tv. Bye, everyone. Bye.